If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm making pretty much a tutorial on how you use cams and abilities in Madden 21. Now, guys, I made this video last year. You guys really appreciated it. It helped out a lot of people as the year went on. And I feel like it was a video that may not be the most relevant thing today, but as the year goes on, you guys can always come back to this video and refer to it. Because I understand if you're not a, if you're not an av like an avid Madden player, or it's your first year, or you never really had the money to really go ahead and get training and do all that extra stuff, um, you may be really confused on how abilities work, what even are abilities, chems, how does that help you? So, I'm gonna be making a tutorial here, going over pretty much everything you need to know in terms of chemistries, abilities, and kind of how that whole thing works. Now, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to below hit that subscribe button, turn that on, boys. Come join the family. Make sure the video a big thumbs up as always. We are super close to 23k if we had not hit it already. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it. If you're seeing this months later, guys, still hit it. Hopefully we're at a much higher goal by then. And smash the like button, guys. Can we get 200 likes on this very helpful video? Now let's get into this, guys. So this could go a little bit longer, so I want to make sure I get into this as early as possible. So we're gonna we're gonna start with the training player. A lot of what I'm gonna show you in this video could be get pretty expensive, like sprinter, lockdown, max out 50 abilities. Cams, it can get it can really add up in price. If you guys do need training, remember if you go onto my sponsor down below, you can buy coins and training there as well, which training is a lot easier because you don't have to actually go get the coins and pick up the training. You can go buy training through them. So make sure you go down below and you just go put it at checkout, pick up some training or coins, whatever you gotta do. But guys, it's about it for the it's about it for that. Let's get into the rest of the video. What are abilities? Now abilities are over here and up. A lot of people say how do you get to abilities? You click RB or I believe R1 on PS4. Now you're gonna go over here. So these are the abilities. You have one, two, three, and then you have an X factor. So there's three different buckets, or well, I should say three different tiers. There's tier one abilities, tier two, and tier three. And tier one is where you get your worst abilities. Tier two is where you get your second worst abilities. But tier one is where you get the best abilities. Now, to, to pretty much explain this, in tier one, you're only gonna get access to a few abilities, and all these extra ones you can only get in that first slot as you get, like pretty much the first slot isn't that useful to later in the game. So to give you guys an example, Dash and Deadeye in the first slot, you need to be a 93 overall. Dash and Deadeye in the sec in the last slide, you, you, you have it already. So, what this tries to prevent is people from using all the best abilities. Pretty much at this point in the game, you can pretty get you get one great ability, one decent ability, one average ability that you typically wouldn't use, which also gives you more flexibility with using different abilities because typically you wouldn't try out a lot of other abilities unless you were forced to. So, pretty cool in that aspect. So, abilities are simple. They enhance the way your player plays, such as making them throw better on the run, higher chance to complete passes to uncovered targets, uh, consistent cash from running backs. They're very self-explanatory. Now they do cost ability points this year, so do keep that in mind. You only have 10 ability points per offense and defense. So one on offense, one on defense. So you wanna make sure that you are being wary of how many ability points you actually take up while using things. So like escape artist might cost like a three and dash Jedi could cost a two or three. So you're almost halfway done on offense. So make sure you are using what you exactly need and taking off what you don't need. Remember you can refund abilities for 90% uh, of what they're worth, I believe. So like if we go to refund, I will get 450 or 500. So remember, if you don't like what you use or you want to test them out, guys, you can always go test them out because the refunding ability option is actually pretty generous this year and last year since they you know they fixed it all up. So getting back 90% is actually very, very cool. So you can try it out. Don't like come back. You lose 50 training, but at least you got to know what you like. So I really find that super cool. And then to get into the chemistry aspect, here's, here's the chemistry. So there's chemistry slot, chemistry slot, chemistry slot. So the way these work, the first one's going to be your team. Your team chemistry pretty much is just like a theme team kind of thing. Unless you're focused on making a theme team, it's really not that important. But pretty much for every player in the same team you have, you will get benefits. So if you have five Ravens players, you get plus one plus uh, plus one strength, plus one ability. I mean, sorry, impact blocking. If you have 10 players, you get plus one jumping, plus one play rec, and then so on and so forth, all the way down where you get a bunch of speed and a bunch of other stuff and acceleration and catching. So that's just for theme teams. Second spot, you do get to put chemistry such as balance, so power. And these are super important, guys. If you get your team with the right team, you want to be able to make sure you match your team up. Don't just pick what you want per player. You want to pick one. So for offense, typically, the one I like for offense, for uh, the passing game is gonna be go deep slash west coast. And then go deep's really good though because it increases throw power, it increases deep route running, increases spec catch, deep accuracy. It's really good for the deep game, which can be the one of the hardest spots to actually master because it's just, you need throw power, you need good accuracy. You can, it's just a whole thing that you need for everyone to match up to get good, uh, good deep game. So go deep, same thing as the team. You have five players that go deep on them. Now remember, there's a times one and a times two. Times one is gonna be the worst option because that does take a while. To get maxed out, you have to get all the way to, I believe it's 50 components this year. So you're gonna need 50 players, it's not possible. So you're gonna want them all with, you're gonna want them with times two. 
You don't want them at times too if you can't get the option. It's a little bit, it's a bit more efficient usually, but this year it's gonna be actually more. It costs a little over double, but it's worth it. You'll see what I mean in the end. Always go for the times two or the times three or the times four, whatever the highest option is. Now again, you get plenty of boost. You're gonna to wanna to be getting these now. I recommend like Go Deep, Zone Run. Uh, Go Deep, Zone Run are my favorite too, pretty much in West Coast, one of those. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is not just your starters, you wanna put them on backups as well because the only way you're ever gonna achieve a really good uh, rating and like matched up is gonna be by putting them on your backup. So keep that in mind as well. And then we go to positions here. Now, I mean, sorry, chemistries for the physical chems. Now, these are important. The best one here, usually Sprinter. Although Sprinter does take away one strength, one agility, one change of direction. Two change of direction. That's pretty big, actually. Shaker. Uh, Shaker is pretty good. We only get plus one speed. So, I mean, I guess that's decent. I really like the plus two speed, though, in my opinion. But Sprinter is really, really good, usually. It's up to you if you want to take those, you want to take those negatives. But... If you get this maxed out again, it takes 40 components, which is going to be really hard this year. That's a lot of training for sprinters. Sprinter is like a very expensive ability, uh, physical chem to put on people. So sprinter, if you have this on 40 players, again, there will eventually unlock times two, and then you're going to make it a lot easier. But if you get it on all of them, you do get plus two speed at the end of that. And I believe you get some excel in there too, plus two speed, and you get plus one excel. Yeah, okay, no. Plus two excel, plus two speed. So gonna make your players much faster so if your whole team has 92 speed you're gonna have 94s it's pretty much the way you make all the players be more overpowered than they already are you're gonna be able to give people speeds that are like unviable like if, if the high speed in the game is 91 you get sprinter on them now it's 93 gonna pretty much upgrade players very tremendously which is why it's one of the most important physical chemistry things to actually purchase again this isn't for the people who are no money spent right now this is gonna cost you a ton of money definitely got to save up for that and make that like a whole big purchase type of thing and then of course we have the front art this is kind of relevant though this is kind of just your own personal preference and what you really like there so that pretty much wraps up that now how do you go about doing this on your team so i pretty much explained chemistries and positions and how you're going to be using all these now when it comes to using them now we get over to the main screen because this is where you actually have to like apply it so it's one thing to put them on now guys remember you can only do all this when the cards are pretty much powered up like to get all the sprinter to get the uh, all that stuff you want them powered up in that in that aspect the best abilities are going to come when they're powered up sometimes they make a card only able to get an ability when they power up to that next level for the current card um, to get maxed out overall to get everything you pretty much want to power those cards up I also recommend you don't really put cams and all that stuff on players that you're not gonna power up because you're not gonna keep them all year You're gonna lose a lot. You can always refund of course, too. So really up to you But here you go So when it comes to putting them in your lineup remember you must activate them That is so key if you do not activate your superstars You're going to lose that. So you're gonna come over here click active superstars and pretty much right here You press Y you deactivate you press Y you reactivate or do you click on it press a Y deactivate? So let's say you have um, seven players in your lineup powered up. They all have abilities. You go over the AP limit or the X factor limit. So now you have to pick the ones you want. So let's say for me, I like to go quarterback, running back, wide receiver. So I'm going to go, well, I don't have them right now because I haven't bought my team, but you guys get the point here. So let's just say Dwayne Haskins, my running back. So you come in with the new players. They're going to look like this. You're going to come in. You're going to be like, okay, so I want Lamar Jackson's X factor activated. Click him. And I want Dwayne Haskins act, uh, X factor activated. Now, once you're in, remember if they don't have abilities, it's not going to show the AP limit zero out of 10 for me because I don't have any abilities on them right now. But if you have abilities on them, let's say escape bars, dash, and yada, they'll cost five. So now you have five. And you could put abilities on anyone on your offense. You can have one ability on like 10 players if you wanted, if they're all one. Now, if you get the threes and the twos, it's going to take up your 10 much easier. But pretty much so when it comes to activating, you just got to really activate the X factors you want. Now, for me, again, quarterback, wide receiver, running back. And then abilities you can put on whoever you want. Your tight ends, your linemen, your running backs, your, your quarterback, whatever you want to do there. But you remember to activate them because nothing's worse than getting us like a week in the game and knowing that you've never activated your brand new players. And now you got to play a whole game without it. It's just all around. The situation just sucks. So make sure you're going ahead and doing that. Now, in terms of seeing how they are, their sprint there and all that stuff works, you want to scroll down here. So these are the team chems. As you see, I'll say one out of five, one out of five, two out of five, one out of five, four out of five. So we're almost going to get the first five boost for the Chiefs. So if you were a theme team, essentially, you want to be maxing this all the way out. Now, if you click on it, you will see all the boosts you do end up getting if you do ahead, go ahead and max them all out. All the way down, you just check all that. Now, for the other things, I have none of the other chems activated yet because, again, they're really expensive right now. Still waiting to get my whole team, buy my team, and wait for the markets crash and everything. But in terms of, like, lockdown and sprinter, you just want to go into it. And when you're in it right here, let's, back, let's go back in. When you go in, you're gonna go like this to put lockdown on them. You put them on. You can even do it from here. You can go to upgrade, put it on. So then on the right, it'll say it'll say like locked. Oh, let's say go deep. It'll say go deep on the right, and it'll say uh, go deep two out of five. Then you put it on Andre Johnson. It'll say go deep three out of uh, four to five. Then you put on Tyler Lockett. Now it's six out of five. You get that. Oh, say six out of ten. You get that first upgrade. And you want to get it all the way around. Now let's say you're you're too short for the threshold, right? It's 25 players to get the next boost that you really want for go deep. You're gonna come to the back with quarterback. You're gonna go to upgrade, and you're going to go up here and you're gonna buy his uh. His chemistry slot you're gonna come down here and you're gonna toss it on so let's say go deep 
pick it up, buy it, put it on him. And then once you put it on him, it's going to give you that plus one you need. So that is why it's usually beneficial to keep a lot of like, if you get nat elites, guys, I really don't recommend you sell them. Those nat elites really come in handy. Let's say you have like a, you have a nat DeAndre Hopkins elite and you don't like him. He's too slow. So you're going to quick sell him for training. Just hold on to him. Put him as your fourth wide receiver. And that'll be extra chem because remember you have to be a, the higher overall you are, the higher times two times three chems you can get. So having a backup 87 that you think like you typically won't buy a backup 87 elite. So you'll always have golds there. But if you have a nat DeAndre Hopkins, you can now go ahead and put a chem on him because he's an elite and they get higher overalls and that will help you in terms of completing your chems same thing with sprinter sprinter works identically the same way you put him on you put him on if you even put them on backups now putting them on backups is very expensive which is why typically i recommend you got to power up your cards because oh a sprinter can only be put on power ups i do believe that is still the case for this year so you're gonna have to put them on power -ups. so for me right now i could probably only get on lamar tyler lockett and probably andre johnson oh, and lane johnson of course eventually you're gonna have to put sprint in your lineman yes it feels pointless but trust me if you need 50 or if you do times two, you need 25. So let's say you put one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So even if you put on your whole offense, you would still be short. And if you put on your whole defense, you would still be short by like one. So you're going to have to go ahead and probably put it on some backups, like a back, even your backup middle linebacker, which you probably use your backup defensive tackle. And again, you might not notice sprint your defensive tackle or some of those positions, but trust me, I put on the ones that matter first, put them on cornerbacks, safeties, user linebackers, put them on wide receivers, tight ends, quarterbacks, running backs, and then from there, put them on. Then you, once you have a lot of coins, and sprint, like I usually put the essential ones, sprinter, early on, and then later in the year, as I have a lot more coins, I then start doing backups as I just have a lot of coins to throw away for that. So I would recommend doing it now, get the essential ones done. But guys, that pretty much does wrap up my uh, how to use abilities in chems video. I hope this does help you guys. I hope this explains a lot. I don't know if you'll be seeing this today or tomorrow. Whenever you do, if you do see this video, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on about boys. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I promise it will help you guys. And guys, if you need coins to pick up Sprinter, Lockdown, or any of these very expensive cams, go down below to muttreserve.com, which is my sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order, guys. Greatly appreciate all you guys who do show support and use the code. So yeah, if you need coins, pick it up there. Do not buy packs for these. You're much better off just buying what you need. Going. You can also buy training points directly on there as well. Make sure you use code Poodle for that as well. And you can pick up training just to get this all done. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, comment. I'm out. Peace.